end of a Christmas carol, generously giving away goal after goal after goal. I caught up with coach David Dodds, who was surprisingly upbeat. To be fair, I think we are starting to show some consistency. We're bottom of the league. Yeah, yeah, but we are consistently bottom of the league, so the only way is up. Unless we get relegated. Yeah, as you say, that would be further down again. Good point, good point. Bassett is back this Saturday, and let's hope he'll have three points in the bag against the behemoth, Scunthorpe. Push up, boys, that's it, go all out for the equaliser! Attack, attack, attack! No, not too far! Get back, get back! Cracking strike now, boss. Hey, bunny. Hop it. He's walking! Don't let him into the box! Don't tell me you got the sack from your old Disney. Oh, me the twat. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't just edit it anywhere, edit it out! Oh, say what I mean! <laughs> Referee! He's contravening every rule in the FA book! Oh, you want a bit? Do it, do it, hey, hey. Do you want another rapid pumpkin? Juicy dead or come on, come on. Hello, Dodgy, can you hear me, lad? Loud and clear, boss. Okay, now look. Tell Jeremy to tuck in on the left. What? Tell Jeremy to tuck in on the left. Hang, hang on a minute. I'm sorry, love, I can't talk now. I'm in the middle of a game. I'm locked out, Mike, and I'm meant to be cutting someone's hair in about five minutes. Middle of a game, boss. What? Have you got the spare keys? You want Jeremy in the middle? No, on the left. On the left of what? No, I'm talking to Dodgy, love, love. Just try, try down the back. I have, it's locked. Jeremy round the back, boss. Will you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up, Mike. No, not you, love, look. Go next door and try and get him off the neighbours. Get him off, bring on neighbours. Got it, boss, will do. Not neighbours! He's injured, you bloody idiot! I am not a bloody idiot, Mike. I'm not talking to you, love. I'm not... I'm... <laughs> Jesus. Five now. <laughs> Don't even think about it, bully. The chief executive calls an emergency board meeting for Wednesday. I think I might be getting a dreaded vote of confidence, I'll see. Vote of confidence, boss? I doubt it. Not the way we've been playing. At least we've got the Tuesday game against uh, Shrewsbury Sound to uh, try and put things right. Mm. Although not many come back from Gay and Meadow without taking an hammering. <laughs> Do you know I just said that? All right, Dodgy, let it go. You see, our bloody problem is our striker. Carlton hasn't scored for eight months. What do you reckon? Drop him? Drop him? Who do we replace him with? Our other two front men have got long-term injuries and the striker we bought from Ajax turned out to be a goalkeeper. Well, what about plundering the youth team, boss? Dodsey, they're 13 years of age. Yeah, well, if you're good enough, you're old enough. I know, but they're not terribly good either. I suppose we'd better watch the video of the weekend game, eh? You've got the wrong one. That's under siege too. Well, we could watch it anyway. Might give some ideas. Steven Siegel on an aircraft carrier. How's that going to help us? No, no, no. That's under siege one. Under siege two. He's on a train. Oh, well, in that case, Jesus, Dodsey. I tell you what. If things get any worse, they can film under siege three in our goal mouth. First time I met Mike, I was seventeen and he was thirty-two. And when you're that age, that's like. 15 years older than you. I was giving Paul Madeley a bum cut at the time. And when I turned round and I said, who's next? Mike was stood right in front of me and suddenly it was, oh, it was like I'd known him all my life. 
He asked me over to watch him play for Crewe against Darlington the next Saturday, but luckily I had a prior engagement. However, the following weekend he was dropped from the team, so we went to see Zombie Dawn of the Dead at the Barnsley Odeon. And from there, I've never looked back. <sighs> Love, I'm home. I'll tell you what, I've had a right bloody day. Who are you? No, she'll be out in a minute. Just finishing up. Love, there's a funny little woman walking around. Jesus, what, what, what are you lot doing? These are my customers, Mike. Hello there. Hello. Oh, oh I'd look against Scunthorpe on Saturday. Oh, thanks. Difficult side to break down. Next time you should use your wide players to stretch their back line. Right, well, if I need any advice, I, uh, I know where to come. And you've got a lot of pace in midfield. It would be nice to see some balls threaded into the channels. Oh, you as well, eh? With righty's left peg pinging crosses in from the byline, Carlton will be able to use his strength in the air to dominate the six-yard box. Oh, all right, Hanson and Lonelton, get your coats on. And... Thank you, ladies. Bye-bye. See you Bye. next week. Thank Bye. You. Bye. 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 Oh. <laughs> I never thought we were going to leave. So was... Uh, Business doing all right? Yes, booming. How about you? Uh, I've had better weeks. Oh. Well, I'll be back. Sit down. Come on. That's it. Oh. Oh, you, you must try and relax. Now, try and imagine that you're in a, in a quiet, undisturbed spot. Can you see it? Yeah. Scontop's gold mouth on Saturday. Mike, you really have to try and conquer this stress. You should read this. Unlock the power of the mind. Mm. More like empty the pockets of the gullible. No, 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 it's very good. It's that Dr Moss. He does a lot of sports psychology stuff. How do you remember that fella off the television? It's Mesmos, isn't it? He? he used to have his own hypnotism show in the 1980s. What was it? Mystical Mesmos. Well, he's doing all right now. He helped the Greek football team to win Euro 2004. Uh, hey, I'll just give us it back a minute. <laughs> I would now like you to read a copy of today's Times. There we are, today's paper, as you can see. Could you read that out for us, please? Average British Rail and London transport fares are set to increase. Bouncy, bouncy, squeeze one out, Staff Sergeant. I'm a random bum ticker. <laughs> What's this bit? He drops his trousers <laughs> All right, lads, I'd, uh, I'd like you to meet Dr Moss. Will you turn that off, please? I'm a psychoanalyst with a PhD from Reading University. I don't like being treated as a circus sideshow. Yeah, you should show a better respect, Dodsey. This man's a bona fide nut doctor. Uh, my apologies, Dr Ms. Moss. Oh, is it Moss? Dr Moss? Yes, that's what I meant. Circus sideshow. Yeah, you should show a better respect, Dodsey. This man's a bona fide nut doctor. Uh, my apologies, Dr Ms. Moss. Oh, is it Moss? Dr Moss? Yes, that's what I meant. All right, Dodgy, get the lads outside. Uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Right, lads, come on, quick, smart now. Come on, lads, move it now, please, come on. Uh, not you, Carlton. Now, Carlton, we're going to start with a simple test. I'm going to say a word and I want you to say the first word that comes into your head. All right? Goal. Sorry. That's all right. Happy. Meal. Very good. Off. Side. Clear. Miss. Hope. Less. Half. Wit. Good. God. No, I mean you're doing very well. All right. Is that everything then, boss? Are you, are you thinking we're in for the long haul here, son? Come on now, boys, no need to be frightened of her reputation. She's returned and only human like the rest of us. How are you, Carlton? You all right, son? Feel great, boss. It's really cleared my mind. That Mesmos knows his stuff, boss. This lad is transformed. Fantastic, Dunsy. All right, son, get out there. Back a half, full. Come on now, boys! This is the turning point! Come on!
three goals. All in his own net. Stop that bloody check to Mesmos, will you, Dodsey? Uh, board meeting tomorrow morning, Mike. Don't forget to be there. Mike, glad you could make it. A couple of fans chased me across the car park. I just managed to get over the fence in time. Sorry I'm late, everybody. It's not the first time this season you've come in last. <laughs> anyway, down to business. As you know, I recently returned from a trip to Scandinavia where I met someone of great interest to this club. If you mean Thomas Thomason from Malmo, let me just say, uh, lock up your secretaries. I've heard he makes Sven Goran Eriksson look like Cliff Bloody Richards. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mike. I was, in fact, referring to Wim Beiderfeld, CEO of Norwegian furniture giant Norbik. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard of them, Norbik are a bit like IKEA, but slightly cheaper. <laughs> anyway, they're looking to launch their first UK superstore, and the good news is Wirral County Football Club is their number one site. Yeah. Yeah. Wim has offered to buy us out for a staggering 85 pence a share. And anyone owning over 2,000 shares will get a free Erkstad side table and a Fromgeld desk lamp. Oh, so well done. <laughs> uh, if all goes well, the bulldozers will roll in at the end of the season. Yes. But what's going to happen to Willow County? You can't turn a football club into a bloody furniture shop. <laughs> Not any furniture shop. The largest furniture superstore in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. The chairman won't let you get away with this, Johnson. Oh, I wouldn't mention it to him, Mike. Not in his condition. Oh, he'll hear about it, all right. And when he does, mate, you'll be out on your bloody ear. I doubt it. You see, he only owns 35% of this club. The rest belongs to us, the shareholders. Three cheers for Norbic. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Well done, sir. Thank you. Love, this has to be the worst day of my entire... All right, then. Mrs Wainwright's just leaving. See you again next week, Mrs Wainwright. Bye. Bye-bye. You haven't got any more working in here, have you? No, last one of the day. So what's happened? You haven't been given the chop again, have you? Oh, it's worse than that. They want to bulldoze the stadium and replace it with a furniture superstore. What, like in Ikea? No, some cheap Norwegian outfit. Oh. Well, the club is on its last legs. Maybe it's for the best. Well, oh, they can't just kill it off, love, can they? Hey, your relationship with your club, it's like a... It's, it's, it's like a marriage. You have your highs and your lows. And your really lows. Yeah. But you go back week after week because football gives you hope. You don't get hope from a flat-packed shelving unit, do you? The only hope you get is that the bugger doesn't fall down. So what are you going to do about it? What can I do? It's all been sewn up by the board. That doesn't sound like the Mike Bassett I know. Did you give up when Norwich were trailing Chelsea 4-0 in the Rumbelows Cup? No, I did not. No, you didn't. You went on to win it 5-4 in the last minute. <laughs> Till Swindon knocked you out in the quarter-finals. Ah, oh, yeah. No, what you've got to do is take this to the people. You've got to say to them, this is your club and you've got to fight for it. Do you know what? You're right, love. And if you want some furniture, why not try World of Leather in Runcorn? It's only 20 minutes' drive away. That's the spirit. Save the county, ladies and gentlemen. Your county needs you. Save the county. Save the county. Save... <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. There we go. Save the county. What's this? Well, they're trying to close our football club down, aren't they? And replace it with a giant furniture store. Oh, fantastic. Thanks. I don't think we're getting through to people, Dodsey. Ah, here they are. There's the press now. Here you are, lads. Is this what you've come for? Okay. Now hear this, people of Ellesmere Port. The Whittle County Board plans to sell off your club and build a furniture superstore in its place. Now we're talking three floors of retail space spread over 27,000 square feet. They'll be offering a range of cheap Scandinavian flat-packed furniture. Oh, 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 there's more. 
there's going to be a crash, park and ride facilities, and a restaurant offering a wide selection of meatballs. Are you just going to sit back and let that happen? Yeah. Hello, love. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hello. Well, we done our bit, love. So I see. Hey. Oh, oh. I bet you Johnson's shaking in his boots. They did a straw poll of local opinion. 85% of the town said no. Yes! Hey, I knew it. That'll show the board. That's no to keep in the football club. Hey. Jesus. i better stop the chairman from saying this, hey? He could send him over the edge. Bye-bye, ladies. Bye. 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 Just a minute. I'll take your dentals in. Thank you. Hello, Sir Denzel. Mike Bassett. Whittle manager. Have you uh, have you seen the news today? No, no. Good, good. Sports news now. It looks like Wirral County Football Club is being sold off. Plans are afoot to turn it into a massive furniture superstore. Oh, you don't want to be listening to that bloody stuff. Turn it off. Have you got the bloody control, Sir Denzel? Bread over Eat 20 it, I'm just shut down. Get square feet. Oh, <laughs> a range of cheap <laughs> Scandinavian <laughs> black hat <laughs> Where's the volume control? Help! 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 He was final till Emmerdale came on and then he just flatlined. Oh, is he? Oh, oh, good. No, 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 don't worry. I, I won't come in for a while. Bye. That's the hospital. The chairman's in a stable condition. Thank God, boss. Which is more than can be said for this football club. Come in. Mike. Just wanted to thank you for all the great publicity yesterday. The club sale really seems to have caught the public mood. All right, Johnson, go and gloat elsewhere. Actually, I've got something to see you. Vim Biderfeld, head of Norbig. He's a big fan. <laughs> nice work, Mike. As a small thank you, we'd like to send you a Frongel table lamp and a Lodstrom desk tidy. You keep it, Biderfeld. I don't want your blood money. Oh, careful, Mike. Still need somebody to manage the store. Go on, get out now, the two of you. Right now, I've still got a football club to run. Not for much longer. We've got a press conference this afternoon. We're going public. See ya. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> You've got a bloody nerve, haven't you? Yeah. Still, are you sure you don't want that table lamp? Oh. What do you want, Moss? Mr Bassett. Now, that cheque you wrote me bounced. Are you going to pay up or what? Mr we haven't got enough to contend with. Dodsy, throw this charlatan out to my office. Come on, Tom. Take your hands off me. Have you any idea who I am? I, 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 hang on a minute, Dodsy. I've, uh, I've just had a thought. Mike, glad you could make it. Wouldn't miss this for the whale, Johnson. Ah, Mr Biderfeld, have you met my associate, Dr Moss? How do you do? Good luck with your conference. No, you don't need luck when you hold all the aces, Mike. <laughs> Excuse us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you've heard, Wirral County Football Club will be replaced at the end of this season by the largest furniture superstore in the UK. This is thanks to our alliance with Vim Biderfeld of Norbeck, who will now read a prepared statement. Thank you, Richard. Uh, we at Norbeck very much look forward to working with you, the people of the Viral. You, more than anyone, have the reputation throughout Europe of being a bunch of thieving bastards, and nothing will give us more pleasure than fleecing you of your hard-earned disability benefit, selling you overpriced tat, which takes two days to assemble, but which falls apart in under an hour. But first, let's bulldoze this shithole and remove your second-class culture, replacing it with 
We third class furniture. <laughs> and now I'd like to show you my Norwegian art. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody love that one, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that dodgy lad. Vim Weiderfeld chased out of town by angry locals. And 93% of the people want to keep the football ground exactly as it is. You can't beat people, Power Boss. You certainly can't. <laughs> all right, Johnson. Managed to get through the crowds all right? Yeah, it's very funny, Mike. This is a thousand pound suit. Not anymore, this isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look who it is. It's the man himself. What can we do for you, son? Just pop round to pick up my cheque, Mike. Steady on. Didn't Dodgy pay you yesterday? Oh, I don't think he did. Do you? Make another cheque out, Dodgy? Should we pay him double, boss?